Hello, everyone. This is Independent Conservative. Thank you all for joining me. So, Press Secretary Jean, Corrine Jean Pierre. Yo, you guys know I am not good with names, but you know who she is. You know who she is, okay? She's for the Biden administration. Uh, basically, flip flopped when asked where the finances, the funding, the money from FEMA actually went. I mean, the accusation is that it went to a lot of the illegal migrants and she kind of flip flopped and said, no, it didn't. OK, <laughs> let's get right into this. I'm not really wasting time. Let's get right into it. Let's see exactly what she had to say. White House press secretary appears, uh, Kareem, appears to have flip flopped on whether or not FEMA resources were used for migrants as Americans slammed by Hurricane Helene try to recover in the aftermath during a recent press conference. She, she apparently denied the agency's resources were going to help migrants, Fox News reported Sunday. Of course, uh, you know, the left is not going to report that. You know, they're going to spin it in some kind of way, but whatever. When a reporter said, quote, former President Donald Trump, former President Trump is accusing the Biden administration of using FEMA funding to support undocumented migrants. How is the White House responding? Press Secretary Dean answered, it's just categorically false. It is not true. That's the answer right there. Bam, it's false. It's not true. Let's move on to the next. Why is it not true? Could you elaborate? No, it's just not, it's just not true. It's false. Let's move on. Anyway, let's continue. It's a false statement. The fact of the matter is the Washington Post fact checked, fact checker did a piece. I am so sick of these fact checkers. Why don't somebody fact check the fact checkers? Am I supposed to believe you because you say you're a fact checker? Man, shut up. Let me calm down. I can't stand these people. <laughs> Washington Post fact checker did a piece in the headline recently just moments ago or not too long ago. And the headline was, no, Biden did not take FEMA relief money to use on migrants, but Trump, but Trump did. I'll leave it there. Yeah, just leave it right there. Don't explain anything. Don't elaborate on anything. On anything. Don't expound on it. Just leave it there. Believe us, American citizens. We didn't use this money for 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 illegal migrants. We didn't use it for undocumented people. Uh, no, just leave it right there. Believe everything we say. We are God. We are your gods. We want you to obey without question. Be the robots you are going about your life. Keep doing what you're doing so we can bring about our global government and make you a slave of that global government. And that's it. Shut up. Don't talk. That's basically what she's saying. However, during a press conference on September, watch this, 16th, 2022. Hmm, let's see. John Claude Van, De I mean, uh, Gene Pierre was asked if, the White House planned to reimburse cities who saw migrants bust to their areas. Now, apparently, listen, and this is apparently her answer. She replied, FEMA regional administrators have been meeting with city officials on site to coordinate available federal support from FEMA and other federal agencies. Funding is also available through FEMA's emergency food and shelter program to eligible local governments and not-for-profit organizations upon request to support humanitarian relief for who migrants, she added. I'm confused, though. See, it's, it's funny. I'm wondering if she forgot what she said or did she count it on the American citizens to forget what's, what was said before. I'm thinking it's the latter, you know. Uh, but apparently in se September 16th, 2022, that's what she said. So basically what that is saying is that some that money went to, I don't know how much of it went to the migrants, but it did go to them. So to lie and say it, 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 it's, not a, it's, it's not true at all is a lie according to what I'm reading here. Because you did say that in se September 16, 2022, that a, a significant portion of the funds from FEMA was going to these migrants. Okay. The revelation portion. Okay, I'm, missing, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Meanwhile, critics have, <laughs> there was actually a video they would not show on here. Meanwhile, critics have been blasting about the Harris administration's use of FEMA money as Americans in North Carolina are trying to put their lives back together following Hurricane Helene's historic flooding that washed out roads, decimated homes, and took many lives. Vice President Kamala Harris announced a $100 million package to support the state, the Fox reporter said. Critics point, pointed out, however, that the package 
was much smaller than the 157 million in foreign humanitarian support Harris had announced for Lebanon the same day. On Thursday, Breitbart News reported that Department of Homeland Security Secretary, and I cannot pronounce his name, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. If you watch Anthony Brown Logan, he pronounced his name well. I have to admit, please forgive me, I should have practiced that. But I'm pretty sure most of you know how the man looks. He is uh, uh, Department of Homeland Security Secretary. So you know that much, okay? All right. But I think the, his first name is Alexander. Alexand Alejandro, whatever, I should have just left it at that, said FEMA lacked the money to make it through the remainder of hurricane season, which comes to a close on November the 30th. So, let me read on. The report also noted, quote, yet $650 million has been allotted to DHS specifically for issues related to illegal immigrants. Close article right there. Yeah, look, we've been through down this road before. We talked about this before. I've talked about it before. Tons of other people have talked about it before. But now you have the press secretary getting up and flip-flopping the flippity-flip-flip, the flip-flop like uh, her, her, her homegirl Kamala Harris flip-flops. I mean, here we go with the flip-flop game again. Look, at the end of the day, I kind of understand she is a press secretary for the Biden administration, and she, uh, and she has to make him look good. Uh, she has to make him look good, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. These are your people. This is your administration. You are there to represent them. I get it. But when something it when something is obvious, when something is obvious, okay, that's what we have a problem at. That's what we have a problem at. To make the statement that uh, it's just not true at all, we'll leave it at that. Is a bunch of BS. Okay. That's a bunch of BS. No, we're not going to just leave it at that. Okay. If Americans are thinking and using their brains, they're not going to just leave it at that. We're not going to just believe what you said right off the top of your head. Because accordingly, the uh, Secretary of Homeland Security stated that there is not enough funds that will last throughout the hurricane season, which reported, reportedly is to, is, it doesn't end until November the 30th. And now I've said this before. But we all, I'm quite sure you already know, there are other hurricanes coming on the road. I think one's called Milton, and it's rising. <coughs> it's, it, the the uh, wind speeds are rising. We got another hurricane coming. We just got, we, many of these people are just getting over Helene. Now you got Milton, and I think another one coming. Come on, man. And now you're complaining that you don't have funds. And the accusation is that the reason why FEMA doesn't have funds is because a lot of that money was given to the illegal migrants. This is on purpose. Now, you could argue all day, that, OK, well, they sent some of the money to, to, to Lebanon or whatever to people over there. That, that could be that could be because maybe there are, there are oil fields in Lebanon. I don't know that there's some kind of financial backing in Lebanon. And so. The government wants to keep friends with them, you know, by get, helping them out. We're going to help these people out because they got oil fields. I, I'm not sure. OK, I'm just I'm just I'm just trying to be a little objective here. And maybe I should have done some research on that part. That's my mistake. But I'm just guessing off the top of my head. OK, <clears throat> that perhaps we're going to give all this money to them and help them in their situation, even more so than the people in America, because we got a money issue there. There's oil fields there. <clears throat> They're selling us oil or we want oil there. So we want to stay or gas or whatever natural resources. So we don't want to stay friendly with these people. We want to stay on the up and up with these people. So we're going to give them the vast majority of the money to them rather than our own people. Our own people, they all right. They'll be all right. They'll be all right. But they won't be all right. They won't be all right. And American people in these areas will not be all right until they wake up and find out that the politicians in their country have sold them out. With these mess, messed up trade treaties and all the rest. Both Republicans and Democrats have sold you guys out to the globalist elite. Bottom line, they sold you out. They sold us out. That's why I don't depend on them. I depend on God and myself. I want something and I really want it, I'll go get it. If God is for me, who can be against me? That's who I depend on. Okay. And 
I don't think, and I'm in fact, I didn't even say I don't think. I know it's been all right with me. I've had my challenges. I've had some, some severe challenges in my life. But God, through his grace and strength, have enabled me to do the impossible. So that's, that's, that's what my dependence on. It's not on the government. I can't stand them clowns. It's on God and me. <clears throat> and I think this is what American people have to come to. I think people, and I'm hearing stories, which thank God for, and I did a video on this about Dolly Parton taking a million dollars out of her own funds to give to the people here to help these people out. And, uh, it, it, and this is not to say at all that FEMA is not doing anything or the American government is not doing anything at all because we got a lot of people that are, that, that a lot of damage has been done, a lot of missing people and so forth. And so it's going to take a minute. I'm, I'm going to give them that edge, okay? But it's kind of messed up when it doesn't take nothing for the American government to give tons of money in foreign aid and tons of money to people that do not belong here. And it's a struggle and it's a, it's a struggle and it's, 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 it's a problem when it comes to your own people, unless you're doing it on purpose. And I believe they're doing it on purpose. These people need to be out, period. They need to be voted out. God have mercy on this country. Because these people are clowns. They got clown paint on. They got clown paint on, you know, doing this. <laughs> and laughing at the American people. Why they juggling, doing juggling acts. With, with, with clown lipstick and clown paint on their face, doing juggling acts with the American people. They're, 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 they're just throwing, you know, bowling pins up in the air. And... <laughs> Wah, 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 blowing horns and making a fool out of the American people. Well, you get up here and say things. No, he didn't say that. Uh, no, 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 no. That's just not true. That's not true. It's a lie. Trump said that's not true. That's, that's not true. That's simply not true. Let's go on. Let's move on to the next phase. Don't question what we said. Don't think about what we said, American people. Just going back to your, like I said, just going back to your own home, going back to your your, your, your sunken uh, a home where the water is sinking in and everything is sinking your home in. Going back to the fact that you won't have any, I know you don't have medication. I know you don't have food. I know you don't have all the things you need, but, 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 but you, this whole idea that FEMA doesn't have any money because they're giving their money over to uh, a foreign, all the money going to foreign aid and to illegal migrants. That's a lie. Don't question it. Going about your business. I know you suffer. But I don't give a flippity flop. I need you to do exactly what I want you to do. I need you to shut up, keep your mouth closed, and let us run everything because we are the gods of this country. We know what we're doing, and we want you guys to shut up. That's basically what they're telling the American people. But come November, it's up to the American people to tell them to shut the HEL up with their votes. Let's see what happens. Now, if Kamala Harris gets Kamala Harris gets in, then clearly the American people fell for the okie doke. You fell for the okie doke. Not saying anyone here, but you did. They, they fell for the okie doke. You went on and vote for it. Okay, I'm gonna pray for you, big time. Okay, I pray that everything will be all right and it won't be what I fear it might become. But that's what I had to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flippity flopping, flip flop the flip flopping, just like, like just like her buddies, uh, Kamala Harris does all the time, has been doing with these policies, flip flopping. Of course, she's you know, of course, the press secretary is going to do the same thing when it comes about comes to where this money is is actually going. And 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 what I mean, of course, she's going to say that. Of course, she's going to flip flop. Them are homies. I'm just saying. Yeah, what do you guys think about her flip flopping? You think she's telling a lie or telling the truth? I think she's telling a bold face in your mouth lie. Okay, yeah. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all. See you again.